Okay, I am trying something new here. Not an N64 game, I've played a lot of these. I'm trying a new combination of recording software, which is the OBS, um, OBS Studio, which is a freeware recording option. I am also um, using NVIDIA's new NVIDIA Broadcast, which is what I'm using to cut out the background noise out of the room I'm in, as well as recording my video from my webcam and eliminating this background so you don't see the shit that's going on behind me. I'm also using a uh, knockoff N64 controller because the N64 controller is a pile of trash, but it's such a pile of trash that no other controller can really duplicate it. So I usually use an uh, Xbox One controller, which doesn't really work all that well for the N64 games. So I wanted to spend a little bit more time running the N64 games playing this whole thing which my uh which my channel has largely been ignoring but well i just didn't have the hardware for it well i do now i mean i've played mario 64 before on this channel i think but never really did it right so here we are now this is not an attempt of me to actually play this game this is just me screwing around testing this out so Feel free to not watch this. I am going to offer nothing of substance in this, uh, in nothing of substance in this playthrough here. I haven't done much, um, appearing on camera on this, not because I have some sort of a problem with that, it's just not something I've ever really done. I think, now hold on. In my, uh, was it, uh, Final Fantasy VI, I think I might have actually had a webcam set up recording me and putting me in the corner. Okay, so yeah, I did I did this with uh, Final Fantasy VI, although maybe I didn't actually do it the entire time. Whoa, Mario, watch out! They just re-released Mario 64, didn't they, for the Switch? Supposedly, like, a pretty good... Not a... Like a sort of quasi-HD remaster of it. Oh, shit. Oh, eh. <laughs> like, you survived that shit, bro. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, uh, oh well. I hate that level anyway. Let's go to the first level. You know, that's probably what it was. I probably played this in an episode of first levels. Something I don't do much of anymore. This was the perfect first level for a game, because it perfectly kind of exemplified and demonstrated what it was that Mario 64 would be. And Mario 64 was, in a lot of ways, the perfect launch title. So, Mario 64 launches. It is just totally awesome. And no wonder everyone would think, like right off the bat, that the N64 was definitely going to crush the competition during the console war of that generation. No, oh, bump your head, bro. Of course, it didn't really happen that way. The N64 had, uh, well, significantly less popularity than its predecessors and definitely less pro uh, popularity than the PlayStation, which was its main competition. I guess maybe it came down to not being many games for the machine. Because it doesn't matter how good the games are, if there's only a few of them. Like, what is this? This is one of two launch titles. It was probably the better of the two. Then there was Pilot Wing 64, which I thought was pretty good. But, uh... Um... Well, what else was there? There wasn't anything for a while. I actually spent a little bit of time playing Quest 64 before I loaded this up. 
Holy shit, is that bad. People, somebody should be ashamed of themselves for producing that pile of trash. Because, I mean, damn. I guess maybe the... I mean, there are a number of reasons for the increase in popularity of the PlayStation 1 over Nintendo. I, um, I'd say the... Um, prevalence of JRPGs appearing on the PlayStation was really probably the big, uh, was really probably the big deciding factor, or one of the major ones anyway, because, I mean, if you're comparing Quest 64 to any of the other good ones, you'd be like, what, what is this trash? <laughs> I should have played Quest 64, I should have recorded that, that would have been, that would have been epic. <laughs> Instead, I'm playing a game that's actually pretty good, or at least it was. Honestly, I don't think this game aged very well. Not necessarily the fault of the developers, because, I mean, it's on the N64. And, I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever held the controller for this thing, but there's one analog stick right in the middle here. It's not a very good one, either. You don't have good camera control. I can press these C buttons to move the camera around, but I never really could get a hang of the controls on that. So it's... It's poor cord. <laughs> can I not destroy this? Ah, screw it. Yahoo! 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 <laughs> Oh, well, anyway. I know the environment that this first level, or really any of the levels, it's not really all that large, but it's built in such a way to make it feel like it's large, because it loops back on itself a lot. Just the perfect launch game. Just, I, I mean, that's the best I can say about it is it's the perfect launch game. Unfortunately, the N64 didn't really live up to this. There were some games like Banjo-Kazooie and... Goldeneye! Goldeneye was another big deal. Oh! Where'd that come from? Oh, brain damage. But anyway, uh, uh... That's probably enough. This is really just a test to see how it ends up looking once it hits YouTube. So, I should have told you from the beginning not to even bother watching this. <laughs> I shouldn't even make it a live video. Whatever. Ow! Okay, you know what? Oh my god. Do you see that? Hold on. Let me see if I can I get the camera far enough away. Okay, no. Okay, maybe I should get back up. I know the camera can zoom out far when we're at the top of the mountain here. And I definitely am not doing what I need to do to get there. Oh, but the camera stopped moving without my control. Okay, let me, let me get up to... Shit. <laughs> okay. Okay, um... <laughs> let me just explain what I saw. The camera zoomed away. And the Mario uh, character model just fell to shit. Like there, it's like a low detail version of the Mario uh, character model. It looked terrible. Okay, can I get... Oh, there it is. Oh, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. Oh, oh, jeez, when he's moving. <laughs> look at that character model. 
I'm going to upload this at a higher resolution so you can see what I'm seeing. His hands turned into cubes. And he, like, loses, like, two-thirds of the, the geometry. Why is it? I wonder why. I mean, well, of course I know why. It's a level of detail scaling. They're, um... They're scaling the character model down as you get further away because you don't really need to see the character in high detail when it's far away and it saves them performance of the machine. But why does it... When you stop moving, the high detail character loads back in. You know what it might be? It might be that they... Um, the developers thought that when you were... When the camera... When you weren't moving the character and the Mario was far away... What you were probably doing was scrutinizing the um, character model intensely, thinking that, like, so they want to put their best foot forward. If you're going to sit there and you're going to get close to the TV and you're going to stare at Mario up close, they wanted to have a good character model. But, like, when he's moving, they're assuming you're, you're not going to have enough chance to pay attention to that. Look at this. High quality, low quality. <laughs> that you're not going to be paying enough attention to notice that. Of course, I did. But then again, I'm running this in an emulator, running it at a much higher resolution than the original game. So it's, I guess maybe if you're running it on like a CRT TV that's maybe like 13 inches, then you definitely wouldn't see it. Oh, come on. I thought he was going to die. I'm trying to kill him. But whatever. That's the end of this.